Hey everyone, it's Dr. Nelson. Greetings from Chicago. Dr. Nelson's here for a conference this week. So uh, there's a lot of questions that were going back and forth on the Kaplan. And so I want to make things very, very clear so you're not confused. So everyone who uh, started the program at ISU, you've paid for Kaplan. Okay, That was that large sum of money that was pretty big to start the program. That sum of money takes you through the entire program here and pays for your NCLEX review class at the end. In each of your courses for Kaplan, you're going to have what's called an integrated test. And if you look at our policy, which is on the Kaplan tab in the course, you're going to see that each course that you take at ISU has a integrated exam. Okay. Typically, every Kaplan exam that's integrated into the course is worth 10% of your overall course grade. So you need to hit these benchmarks on the Kaplan um, exam so that way you get 10% of the course grade. It makes or breaks a good grade. If you do get those points, and that could be the difference between a C and a B or a B and an A. So practice makes perfect on Kaplan. Every single Kaplan exam in each of your courses will have practice exams. There are typically two. There's a practice A and a practice B. So in this course, you're going to be taking the fundamentals exam, and we're going to be taking test A. So if you get into your Kaplan and you log in, you're going to see that there are practice exams, okay? The practice exams have to be practiced just like you would take the integrated exam. So they're not proctored, but we want you to be hitting the benchmark of 66.6%, which is what you need to get on the Kaplan exam to pass it. So we're going to practice just like we're going to take the exam. Now, not every Kaplan exam has a benchmark of 66.6. .6. Every course, every exam is going to have a different benchmark, and we get that benchmark based off of national averages. Because what we want you doing is we want you hitting the, the exam at what level other people in the nation are hitting in order to pass NCLEX. So we know on the fundamentals exam, the probability of you hitting a 66.6% .6 is tells us that you're going to pass that portion on NCLEX. And so we integrate all these exams through the curriculum. So then when you hit NCLEX preparation at the end, which is nurse 490, you're ready to go. So people have been asking me, why are we taking fundamentals in nursing 208? Well, I always like to put some exam in this course. And really, if you think about it, everyone should be experts in fundamentals right now because you're all LVNs, LPNs, right? So I give you the fundamentals exam so that way you can really cut your teeth on a couple of things. One, getting in and understanding how Kaplan works, okay? And then two, getting you used to NCLEX style questions again, because we don't use a whole lot of NCLEX style questions in this course because we're not hitting crazy NCLEX content. But I just want you to become familiar with Kaplan and how it works. So in a couple of weeks, your first Kaplan practice is going to be due. I want you to hit a 66.6% .6 or higher. You may take the practice, you may take the practice exams as many times as you want, and you need to get as high as you can. So a lot of people will take both practice A and practice B multiple times, and they'll take it until they get 100%. On the very first time that you take it, I would be going through your results, and I would be looking up that content that you missed. So it's not going to tell you individually what question you missed, but it's going to give you an area to focus on and how to do a focus review on that content. So in order to prepare for the exam, you need to be practicing those practice exams and then going back after you practice and hitting the areas you scored poorly on. That's going to help you with the integrated exam. Now, after you meet the practice requirements, you're going to sign up through Kaplan with Examity. And Examity is our new online proctoring service. So before, maybe with the CAT um, or other tests, you maybe went through Be Virtual. Now we're using Examity. So when you go in to your Kaplan account, you're going to actually hit the Examity button to schedule for that integrated exam. So again, you're not to schedule with the integrated exam until you pass the practice and I clear you. And that's not for you know a little bit of time now. So focus on practicing. Get that in. You can start now. Don't email me your practice scores. They will be a place in the upcoming modules where you will submit your results. Okay. Other than that, um, I've had a lot of questions too on the clinical map and the survey. If you do not know the contact information for the site or a, a possible preceptor, just put not applicable or I do not know in those blanks. Okay. Because then that tells me that I need to reach out to the site and we need to be working on getting clinical placement. 
if you do not know your plan of study, if you don't know when you're going to be taking Nursing 324, um, you need to know that because every single one of you in this program has an academic advisor. Your academic advisor is Jacob Jenkins, and Jacob has a plan of study for everyone. It's called your MySAM, your My your MySAM plan of study, and you access that through your portal. So it's very important that if you do not have your MySAM activated, you do not know what your plan of study is, you find out what it is because that's how you know what to register for. That's how you know what your process is for completing this degree. Okay, so. Couple of things, Kaplan, get in, log in, start practicing, do the orientation. There's a five part orientation video that's underneath the Kaplan tab. Everybody should be doing the Kaplan orientation prior to starting their practice. Get that 66.6% on the practice exam. If you hit it on the A, you want additional practice, go to practice B, okay? And then we're gonna be signing up for that proctored exam pretty soon. OK, get your clinical map submitted, get that survey completed, which, again, is the same information. But remember, I'm piloting this survey to see if it helps me uh, with with the data a little bit. And other than that, I hope everyone's doing a great job. It looks like you are so far. Um, and a big shout out to uh, Instructor Sperry because she's been helping a lot on the discussion boards. And I truly appreciate that. So make sure you have a rest of the, the week is great and fantastic. If you have any questions, throw them out on the discussion board and we'll be happy to answer them. Thanks, guys. Bye.